Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and welcome to the fifth and final installment of my Mego tutorial where I show you how to make this model of pending in an angel demon form that are actually one model in the same. In the first tutorial we learned how to set up files in Vroid, the second tutorial learned how to export some of those and do the blend shapes in Unity, the third tutorial showed how to add bones, uh, uh not bone, well, hmm bones and shape keys to the tail and wings. The fourth tutorial showed how to layer clothes and this one we're going to assemble it all together into a massive pile of baloney. Now I want you to understand that I did this part twice. Three times. I did this part three times and not because of um, bad recording or anything. No, 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 no there were errors and I had to go back and I had mentioned like one of the errors I got and I'm not sure why I got the error. It probably had to do with like conflicting names maybe. I don't know. Which is why I said name things and my fix for it, at least with the bones, the shape keys, was to delete the vertices. Man, I don't even know how that helped. I didn't do it with the coffee one, but anyways. Let's jump into this. I have imported the pending with his new jacket on there. I have created a folder and I call it FBX Mayhem. And in here, I have added um, all of my X FBX models, which includes the wings, the tails. Uh, there's a couple of extra things he wanted, such as um, the drool, the cookie, which I had mentioned in the first one that the halo and the drool kind of came out a little weird. And I didn't learn about that until after the first time I went through all the Unity shit, but I didn't want to have to go through all that blender shit again. So, yeah. Um, I just decided to make a Halo in Blender and the Drool in Blender and F exported that as an FBX. And then I also made materials for each and every one, which is you just, um, you know, right, right click and you can just do materials. Um, yeah, so here you can see all the different materials I have. Um, and I made sure they're all using like the VRM, uh, tune shader because I want them all to kind of match. Uh, now, when you click on uh, one of these uh, FBX, you're going to want to make sure that the camera and the light are off and uh, the um, uh, wed vert vertices is deselected and then the legacy blend shapes are selected. Um, and then you're going to go over to the materials and you're going to select this little button. And mind you, I'm, I was in the prefab when I did all this. Um, and then you select the material you want and you hit apply and then all that shit applies to it. So, yeah, Gucci. Um, and I'm gonna do that for all of these. Um, and then you apply and then you have, like, your textures on your thing. Yeah. Uh, but make sure, you know, all of the, the settings are the same and the right. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to make a, a new one, you just go uh, right click, create materials, and you just, you know, you have the material here. Uh, you can just select the little button and select the material you want. Like, granted, this is not. Whatever, this is just showing you. Uh, VRM, Mtune. And the, the reason I'm showing you here is because I started redoing the whole thing without recording, and so I figured I would go through and just kind of show you how I did it real quick. And there, that's how we made a material. Um. And then you can change like the transparency and the colors and all that other shit. It doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, and that's shading. You know how to do this shit, right? Yeah, I hope so. Um, we don't need that one, so we're just gonna delete it. Yeah, delete it forever. Goodbye. Um, yeah, so these are all the things we're gonna be adding, plus two extra things. Alright, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I have pending in the hierarchy. I'm gonna right-click and do open, um, the prefab. And now I'm going to apply everything, everywhere, and what have you. 
So the first thing I do is I just kind of grab and I drop it to where I want it. So like the tail I dropped into the hip. Now it's up here, so you're gonna use um, uh, like the toolbar in order to move things around. You know, there's move, rotate, and scale. And I use all of them for these. Um, but yeah, this is gonna seem a little tedious, but eh. Also, I turned off the jacket so I could see where the tail attaches because I cannot, for the life of me, see where it's supposed to go in because it's supposed to go right where that opening is by the tushy. Yep. And this is another way of getting out of having to transfer the hair. Um, but you know, it's fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna add, like, you know, the other stuff in. So, like, for the halo, uh, it already had bones in it, so I, I basically, I, um, decide to, uh, turn the halo that I have transparent, because it's attached to the drool and I need both of those going. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the new halo that I created on the same bones that the other one was on. So I find where uh, the bone is, uh, which I think is either at the very top or at the bottom. What am I doing? Oh, I know. I end up saving a lot during this because of issues I had. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like tag all those. Alright, so now I'm just kind of like checking to make sure I find the right bone and I can see that this is where the halo is and then I just drag and drop it um, right there. And then I adjust it and now this is actually attached to the end of where uh, the Vroid halo was. Also, because I was having so many issues with the previous two times, uh, I end up saving a lot throughout this just to make sure that I can still export it. And so that's why, how I will know when I done fucked up. So I'm like, oh, it was this step that did it. And then I uh, look at this step and figure out why, which actually helped because like this, uh, what I'm insta uh, putting in here is this lovely model by Wrinkle, which uh, Pending had purchased before. And it looks a lot like his, like, hamster in real life. But every time I would apply it, I could not get the goddamn thing to export. And I found out later, like, there were two issues. One, something with the shaders was messed up that it wanted to use. And I could not, um... Even if I deleted the shaders and, like, applied a new shader to the material, or even made a new material for it, it still kept looking for those shaders. Uh, and I don't know why. And another thing was, is that... It had two materials, and one of the materials had a, um, I was to put it on the shoulder, I thought it'd be cute, but I thought it would get lost in the other jacket. Anyways, um, the, the other one had two materials, it had it for a gray hamster and, like, the brown hamster, and his hamster is brown, uh, so I used that one, but apparently they used a Photoshop file as the material, and it doesn't export, but I did not realize it because I just used theirs. Ultimately, what I, I had to do is I had to take the FBX out of the Unity package. And apply. Like, look, you guys don't need to know any of this. Oh, I'm just going to rant while this goes on because, yeah, at this point, like, I try to save it and you see it doesn't work. But anyway, so I ended up ripping the, um, the model out of the Unity package through Blender and re-exported it as an FBX just for, like, the sake. You can see all the, the error rate on there. And then I um, took the, the texture and I remade the texture uh, on a new file. And that's how I was able to get the damn thing in. Eventually, it was the last thing I actually got figured out. Um, but I, I deleted it for, for at this point and I just kind of, you know, moved on. Um, also, if you get these errors at the bottom... You can kind of click on them and a menu will pop up. They'll tell you the error and you can get on the details about it. And usually kind of gives you an idea. Um, and you can clear it out at the top. You can just be like, clear. And then you don't have to look at the error anymore. 
Uh, and this is me also reinstalling. <laughs> Look, you know what? I spent a lot of time on this fucking hamster. We're just gonna like skip. And uh, after five minutes of fucking with that goddamn hamster, I gave up and uh, decided we we're going to add the drool uh, to the head. Um. Yep, that's that's uh, a drool I made. I'm proud of it. Uh, I'm not. It's stupid. I've made better things in Blender. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, at this point it's mostly just, it, while in the prefab, I'm just adjusting and getting things to where they need to be. I'm making sure that they're on the right um, area in the hierarchy, like things that are attached to the head should be attached to the head, things that are attached to the back should be attached to the back, and so on. So I'm gonna kind of like speed us along on this, all right? Zoop, 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 zoop. All right, now um, at this point, there's two effects that this thing is going to have. One of them is going to be attached to the head, which is going to help give dread. Um, and the other one is attached to the foot. And what I do is I right click and I do create new, and I think it is like 3D material or 3D object, and then I do plane. Um, and yes. Uh, and then I apply my material on it and then I position it where I want because these are going to be flat things. Uh, so we have like a dread that's going to go over the eyes for when he's feeling like dread because I didn't add it in with the hair because with everything else on here, uh, of course I forgot something. Um, which the sad part is is that the hair can bend, this cannot bend. So it does kind of float a little bit. But, you know. <laughs> it still it still gives it uh, the same uh, effect. It's fine. Um, so I just kind of like pull that in. Um, and I will also do this for a few other things uh, later on. So, you know, if, if you ever want to add a couple effects that you can't... Like either you want them flat or you just need a bigger space. Or you forget, you know, you could probably just add a plane, a 3D plane and... Uh, apply it that way. Uh, and I also rename it to Dread because of course it's, you know, it's for when he makes his Dread face like, uh. uh now I'm doing another one and I'm going to attach it to the foot. Um, and this is called Cookie Rain. Uh, Pending really loves cookies and all the cookies and cookies, cookies, because who the fuck doesn't love cookies, right? Um, yeah, so we just do another plane and this one is going to be I'm gonna actually make this twice. Two of the exact same things. Um, and I'm attaching it to the foot because we don't move our feet too much when we're in uh, Vroid. It'll move a little bit, but I usually I kinda, you know, I don't know. You can probably just attach it wherever. But I, I attach it there. Um, and what I'm gonna do is give it the uh, cookie rain um material which i realized as soon as i made a new material that i already had the cookie rain material um and then i just kind of deleted it look look it was a lot to, to remember and go through um yeah so i just kind of grab and drop this into the element and i have already made cookie rain move as you've i have a tutorial on how to make textures move so go check that one out if you you care um and uh, so I, I just named it like Cookie Rain and it's kind of behind pending. And then I duplicate it and I put it on the other foot, which I, man, it doesn't really matter where the fuck it is to be fair. Um, and this one is going to be for the foreground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it forward and I'm gonna increase the size just a little bit. Now, both of these textures are moving at the exact same speed, looking the exact same way, but because one's slightly bigger, they look like uh, they're moving differently. And yeah. So that way, if he wants cookies to rain down upon him, or if his chat does, they can trigger that and it would be great. Yay. <laughs> It's just something fun because, you know, the cookies. Like, he's got a cookie in his mouth. It's sort of like how coffee has, like, uh, toast in her mouth. Coffee can make um, feathers fall down around her if she wants. Uh, it's the same for this one. Um, yep. 
And then I like kick it out of the prefab and you know, I'm still saving. I'm making sure that everything is uh, exportable. And as we can see that things are still exporting, which is good news. Good news bears right here. Um, now at this point, there's a couple of things we need to to do before we're done with this, which is turning blend shapes on and off, turning materials on and off, adjusting materials, and so on and so forth. And saving your goddamn project. My autosave failed at one point, so, yeah. Um, oh, also, uh, in the uh, secondary, being that pending is a boy, there is this uh, bust thing, which kind of gives, uh, you know, a little jiggle physics. Uh, I delete it. Uh, pending doesn't need jiggle physics, pending is a boy. And, uh, you know, I pulled the breaths in small, but there'd still be a little bit there because for some reason, you know, <coughs> it wants to. Um, now, since I had to re-add in these wings, I, I wasn't able to add new spring bones, which I tried. Uh, but if you want to, this is how you would do it. Basically, you just, um, you would look for VRM spring bone script. Um, my comment is usually what I'm working on. Um, and this is how, this is how it would work normally. And this is how it worked for coffee. It didn't work for pending. I don't know why. This is the one thing I couldn't figure out. Um, but either way, so what you do is, like, for the tail, over in, like, the root bones, you select how many you need. Like, for the tail, you need one. Um, and then you're going to just grab under the armature and you're just going to drag and drop it in. And you can do the root for the center. You don't need to. I don't think you need to, but yeah. Um, and then you can adjust like the stiffness and the gravity. And that's like uh, all those sliders you use in uh, Vroid Studios. It's basically those. Uh, for the wings that there's uh, two um, uh, root bones. So uh, on this one, we're going to uh, dial in two. And you can see under like the uh, armature, you have these two root bones. Um, again, like they didn't work for this. I don't know why. Um, it actually worked in the, the broken ones where I wasn't able to export it. But in this one, I got rid of, um, uh, I want to say the arm, was it the armature? Modifiers? I think it was the modifier. I think I got rid of the modifiers or something and that fucked it up. Look, I don't, I don't know. I don't know 3D modeling too well. I know just the basics to kind of get by and I just kind of like do my best and then I share my knowledge that I've learned by fucking poking things with sticks and seeing what moves. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at in this. Um, all right, so um, I'm gonna go over into like um, blend ships and um, usually the third one in uh, will show you the entire list because it's just blend shapes. The other ones are like blend ship, blend shape A, Blend shape, angry, and then it's just blend shapes. So you got to find the one that's just called blend shapes, right? Um, now before we we go too far into that, I'm gonna have to turn some of these off because, goddamn. <laughs> so yeah, you, you, I've done this before. You just click, uh, you know, slide this down. So like the cookie, the drool, the um, cookie rain because that's really getting fucking annoying. The dread, you know. And you have to have it uncut out or transparent or transparent Z white or else it's not going to work. Um, I don't know what that little point is, but I, I think I fix it later on. Um, yeah, so at this point we're going to go uh, back over into blend shapes and when we, uh, all right, we're going to pop this out, I guess, real quick, yeah. So you can also see it right there, how you have the face thing, and then you have hair, one, two, hair, hair, hair. Yeah. Yeah. So those allow you to adjust, um, the movement of each of those. And so that's why I'm keeping the demon wings on and the angel wings on right now, so I can see the movement that it does. Uh, yeah. And if for some reason you can't, you know. 
so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go through uh, quickly and I'm going to adjust all these blend shapes. All right, so, so let's just kind of like zoom, 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 zoom. So at this point, I'm just going to be turning off all of the um, demon stuff. So we're just going to do angel stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm all, oh, I'm also going to show you um, how to do the skin stuff. All right. Um, so we're you know we're going to turn off like demon jacket, and we're going to. Uh, so like the body skin, we have, um, I'm going to show you how I do this real quick. So what I do is I open up this particular texture over, um, in Clip Studio Paint. I can use Photoshop, you use whatever art program you want, really. And what I do is I layer them, it and the original angel body next to each other in one big long file. And I'm going to show you an example here because I forgot to record it. Um, but yeah, you can see it. So it's like this. And then I make sure I save it over the exact same file name. Um, and then we're going to adjust like UV coordinates. I do not recommend this for the face. Um, and like here you can see like, uh, how part of like the leg texture is somewhere else. But, uh, 0.5 aligns it to the angel side. So the shadows are in the right place. Um, you can actually add like a bunch to it, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass and I don't particularly like it. And it also sometimes gets a little screwy. I've done it before, um, with outfit switching on the fly, but it's often glitched, especially in VC face. And I don't, I don't know why. So, um, I, I made sure to keep it only at the legs, only like on the body. So you see very little of it. Also, when you're adjusting those blend shapes in VC face, make sure you have it set to zero for the switch or else you're going to see it just slide across the body. Um, it's how I did like some of my eyes and like, uh, you can see like, uh, like the eye highlights slide across my eyes. Yeah. It's switching its, its position, its coordinates. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> so again, I, I'm just going through and I'm renaming things as well as I go along. So like, Demon hair, angel hair, red, blue, uh, horns, because there's a lot of hairs in here and it could get really confusing. So if you have them all renamed to something else, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. It's just kind of organizing some shit. Um, so then when I need to turn it on later on, it, I can. Meow. All right, now we're just angel pending because all the other stuff got turned off. Uh, oh, also over here, I changed the color of the eye to a blue. Remember how before I mentioned that I wanted two different color eyes, that's why I left it gray. This is why I left it gray. Blue. Um, and the eyebrows are good as they are. They're going to change for the demon form. Yeah. All right. Um, and just double checking, make sure everything's looking Gucci. And then I go over into the blend shapes and then I create, um, a new blend shape and it's going to be, um, demon form. This one's going to require a lot of stuff for the demon form, but there's also a couple of other blend shapes I'm doing such as like, um, hungry and dread. And I think I do like a flap and a wrap and cookie and cookie rain and then there is the hamster later on so <laughs> so there's a lot of added blend shapes um but you know yay um so like for this one cookie rain i just you know i go over to the materials list i look through my list of all the goodies i find cookie rain I change the color, I go uh, full alpha and then white. And then if you look, you can kind of see it on the screen. Gucci. Uh, for cookies, it's the same thing. It's, a, it's the cookie in the mouth. It, you know, it's just take that material, color, make it white, transparent, you know, the alpha all the way up. <clears throat> and now there's a cookie in the mouth. And so on and so forth. 
and we're just going to kind of speed through a little bit. All right, now we come to the demon form, which is going to be kind of tedious because we got to turn everything off and then turn all the other parts back on. Um, so I, I think I start with everything to turn off first, minus the skin. Like the skin, I'm going to change the coordinates. And these coordinates, I always have a little bit of like hard time um, trying to figure out where they are. Like... I don't know. I, it, it's one of those things I have trouble like wrapping my mind around. Uh, just because of like the tiling and the offset. Like I know in theory where it should be, but usually I just kind of punch around with 0.5 and 1s and whatever. Ultimately, since the original one, the angel one was 0.5, just doing a negative 5 work because, you know, it moved the, the point over negative. I was trying to figure out if there was a way to do it without putting a negative number, but I guess not. And, you know, we got the pants, finally. Finally, Argama! Get your shit together! <laughs> um, and, like, uh, at this point, we're going to uh, also change the eye color. I don't know why it went fucking green, but uh, we're going to change it to a demon-y red Gucci. Uh, oh, and the shoes. I think I changed everything I needed to have color changes. I changed first, if I remembered, and then slowly went down. So at this point, like, I'm getting rid of uh, the top, the jacket. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the shorts. Um, and so if you click plus, it does what the previous one was, which was color and turned off. So made it a little easier. Uh, at least turning everything off. Turning it on was a little bit more of a problem because... For some reason, it kept like defaulting colors to weird things. So, but so we have um, the the hair, the second highlight color, the uh, angel wings, the uh, halo, and then we got to turn things on. So we have like the demon hair, which has a darker gray. We have um, the uh, red, if I'm, or I'm, or the brow. I'm I'm sorry. We did the brow because I forgot the brow was changing its color. And um, the red, which apparently I added the red in post. <laughs> so, you know, you just change the color in it. And the wings. We don't want it in red. And the tail. And the jacket. And we're almost there. And I gotta get those horns in. Yeah. And now we have the demon form. So uh, all the other stuff will turn off and all these will turn on and they all happen at the same time. Yeah. Um, and depending on if you use VC face, like the delay, it'll show like how fast it'll end up switching. Um, one other thing I did for this one, since this is, like, demon form, I lowered the eyes a little bit to slightly angry. Uh, just to kind of, you know, whatever. Give it that little... <clears throat> nah. Um, I want to do it with the brows, too, but I would really need to rotate those, and that's not something I have the ability to do via... Yeah. So, yeah, so you have, like, the angel form, and then you'll just have, like, the demon form. And all the expressions carried over to the other one. Because uh, you're going to have it like toggle on and stay on, not just a hold. Uh, so yeah, now I save and I export. And ultimately, I uh, ended up with this. Um, I, I adjusted the uh, halo a few times um, as far as how I wanted it to move. Uh, some of the times it was like super like just floaty like at one point I'd turn my head and like the halo would just wander off somewhere which was kind of funny <laughs> um but I figured this was better and it was kind of more jiggly um later on afterwards I did go back in and I was able to finally put the dot goddamn hamster on the head with all the stuff I had mentioned before um but yeah so it it quickly just switches forms which is really great and it's super fucking cute um, and I have like wing blend shapes, which I think I added in after, which I didn't record. 
because uh, I had sent this off and I was like, hey, this is what I got. I'm going to add a couple more things then later on, but like I needed a break because come on, I've been working on it for a while. But yeah, so we have our like drool. You remember that? Um, the angel form. Uh, and we have all of our expressions. We still have cookie and cookie rain. Yeah. These are, this is the important stuff. Look, I am doing God's work here. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so that's how I made this model. And uh, there was a lot to it, but I hope you guys learn something from it and can apply the knowledge that I gave you into your own projects. I do not expect you to copy this project completely. In fact, I do not expect any, you know, for all of my tutorials, I don't expect you to copy things one for one. I expect you to take that knowledge and apply it to how you can use it. And I know I started off with Argama Witch, but I want to end this with coffee. <laughs> because I like coffee. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you out. Uh, please give it a like. Uh, please, um subscribe if you want to see more from me if you want to see me streaming i'm over on twitch.tv slash argama witch sometimes i stream as coffee sometimes as argama it doesn't really matter if you want to go check out pending he is vt pending on youtube and on uh which I think, I don't know. I'll leave his links down below. Anyways, anyways, if you have any questions, again, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, except that they have to do with Blender. Fuck Blender. I don't like Blender. And, uh, yep, well, that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Nom, 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 n